What's going on guys? Another Gears of War 3 commentary. I was playing some Team Deathmatch last night with Baif, fellow sports commentator. We decided to play some TDM together. And now we'll jump into the action, and I'm running around with the Retro Lancer, charging up on this guy. He doesn't see me coming. Get the easy kill. Our team is down by a few kills, and now I got the incendiaries. I love using grenades. That's what I rush for every time. And for some reason, fire does not do that much damage. I don't get it at all. I'm like... Nailing that guy right in the face with it. And this guy's coming up on me by blind fire him with the retro lancer. Take him down, get the kill. And now I'm looking for some more action. We'll speed up the gameplay a little bit. Looking around, checking my attack comms, see where my teammates are. I'm gonna move down here. I see a couple of locusts. I got my retro lancer. That's easy all day. Get that guy. I just keep firing, I get that guy too. And so it's seven to nine at this point right now, and we'll jump forward. And now our respawns are depleted, and they've still got nine. And so I got the torque bow. I'm trying to get our team back in the action. I know it's not very likely with just four lives on our side, but I love using the torque bow. Get the headshot there. The domer long range guy was using the one shot. Not gonna happen. Then I take out oh, that guy. He just walks out into the open. I'm gonna get that shot. And now I have the shotgun out. I'm not very good at the Nasher yet. I'm trying to get better with it, but I'm going to run away from this guy and I see more guys trying to come up on me, so I'm just going to try to run around and see how long I can live. Come up on this guy, get a couple of shots in him. He almost downs me, but I get the kill. Now they got six lives left, and I got more guys shooting at me, but somehow I'm still alive. I'm evading all the bullets. I got to active on my shotgun, so I'm like, okay, I'll run up, and I'm not able to get a kill. The guy had the torque bow, and I was running up on him. I don't know why I played so aggressive in that situation, but I would die. And we would lose the round, and so we need to win two rounds in a row to get this victory. We'll go into round number two. It's 9-9 nine nine even. I got the frags, of course. And I throw a frag one way, and then I see another guy, and I want to throw another frag at him. And I hear the chainsaw now, but here it comes. Boom, I get chainsawed, and so now it's four lives to six, but I see this guy around this corner. And I'm able to lancer him down with the retro and get the kill. Now we'll fast forward a little bit, and it is the respawns depleted for both sides. We are down one man. I set up a frag, and my team is just sitting up here by the mortar spawn. And so I got my retro lancer. I'm waiting for some guys to rush. Teammate drops the mortar on that guy, and now I'm feeling a little bit aggressive. So I want to go across this bridge, see if I can get into a fight with anybody. And we got my teammate over there, and I whip up my snub pistol. I'm not very good with it. I don't know why I use it. And then I drop back, retreat my position. Whip out the Nasher, then just sit around a little bit. This guy's coming up on me, and he's able to get me the sawed off. And so I am dead, but he walks right into my grenade. So we just trade kills pretty much. And now it is two on two. To finish off this round, we need to get the victory so we can go to a tie-breaking round. The action still staying by the mortar spawn. Teammates throwing out his frags. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one sudden death to see if we can force a tie-breaking round. And they're running at each other, and my teammate gets the one-shot kill. And so we go to round three, and I really like this team deathmatch mode. It's new to Gears of War. I played it in the beta, and it's been one of my favorite game modes in this game because execution and Warzone are only first to three, and I, I prefer first to seven, which is what I played on Gears 1, and then it was five on Gears 2. And so now I'm just trying to throw my incendiaries, and I'm able to get a kill. I don't get very many kills with the incendiary, but it's very rewarding when I finally do. And that guy's just sitting there behind me. And I try to get him down with the retro, but he's able to get a couple of nice body shots on me with the Nasher. I'm still not that good at Gears of War. I'm trying to get better. I just never stick with the game long enough to really get good at it. And so now that guy comes around the corner. My teammates come back and defend me. And now we're coming up this little ramp, and I want the power weapon over there. I want the torque bow. I love this map because I love using the long shot, and I love using the torque bow. And so we're trying to chase this guy off, and I'm using the Lancer at long range. It's not that effective. I should have switched to my Lancer or something, but the Torque Bow spawns. And so I'm going to be using that now for as long as I can. And I only had one Torque Bow left. Try to shoot that guy long range. Not able to. And so we're still down by a few kills. And this guy is back here. And little do they know, I'm right here, and there's another guy there. So two easy kills. And so we're getting very close now to both teams having the respawns depleted. And I'm just hanging back. I'm waiting for the torque bow ammo to spawn because I feel like that's my best bet in this game. And then I get it. And a guy comes up on me. I'm trying to run away as fast as I can. Trying to roll away. I'm not sure if he's chasing me. And then I have my torque bow charge anyway. He's coming on down. I missed that shot. And now he's rushing at me. I'm able to kill him. But I roll right into him and I end up killing myself and so now our respawns are depleted they have one life left 
and I want my torque bowl back and so I'm gonna run back to that same spot hope that it's still there go around this little set of barriers and I pick up my torque bow and I still got three shots left and our team only has three players left and their team just now had the respawns depleted so it's a three on five got my torque bow in hand looking across the map to the one shot spawn able to get that guy as he walks out into the open now it's three on four get my torque bow back again and that guy comes out of cover I'm able to get him now one more shot left and I take out that guy so three shots three kills to finish off my torque bow and I take out my shotgun now it's a three on two advantage for us and I see the locust coming Marcus gets around me and then boom headshot get the kill now it's a three on one I see the guy across the bridge I'm rushing them, hoping my teammates are going to do the same. Got my Nasher out, trying to get a couple early shots on him before he can hit me, and I back off and land a few shots, get him down, and then execution to win the game. And so I had the last five kills of the match, went 20 and 5, we win the TDM. Good game for me, one of my better games on Gears 3 so far. Still getting better at the game. I want to get good at this game, I just got to stick with it. And I don't plan on buying any other shooters in the near future. I'm going to be mainly buying sports games like NBA 2K, WWE 12, MLB, all those other sports games so I can make more sports commentaries. But I do like bringing these shooter commentaries as well. And here we got a little bonus action. Here's another game I played with Bafe on Sandbar. Just showing a few highlights. And I nail this guy with the incendiary grenade. Get the kill. Try to hit that guy as well. And I am unable to. And I'm trying to shoot him with my retro lancer now. And I'll switch to the Gorgon. I love using this gun. And... This guy's going to try to run up on me right here with a shotgun. And look at this thing. It's just a monster. I love the Gorgon. And the main reason I'm showing this part right here is because I'm like, what's over here? Oh, this is where the long shot spawns. I didn't know that. And so I pick it up. I'm looking to do work. And I, I know exactly where I want to go. And so I'm taking out these guys over here with, along with my teammates. I want to go out on that big ledge out there. That's an awesome sniper spot. I go out there, looking around, trying to find an enemy. I want to find someone to shoot. I see a guy, and then BOOM! Shoot him in the head. And now Sandbar is definitely one of my favorite maps, because I love using the long shot, and this is an awesome sniping map. I even down that guy at long range. Now I'm see if I can find anybody else. I look around, find this guy in the turret. It's just a standing still headshot, but I still kept it in the video. And now we're going to round two, and I'm in a little standoff with this guy. He's, a, he's around that little pillar, trying to get me to shoot, and I'm trying to time it right try to take his head off and I mistime it shoot now he's gonna rush on me while I'm reloading and boom Oscar Mike that's what I'm talking about I love using the long shot in Gears of War 3 and now he's here again he wants another standoff but I see his teammate back there he's got the boom shot and so I'm like you know what that guy's not gonna do anything oh let's take that guy out so I shoot him in the head and now he's gonna rush up on me and now we're gonna have a little shotgun standoff trying to get some shots on him but he gets a really good shot on me right there I'm now I'm rolling around the cover trying to dodge him and I come around the corner and body him and so that was just some of the highlights from my game at Sandbar one of my new favorite maps and so hope you guys enjoy this Gears of War 3 commentaries I hope the sub box start working soon and I'll see you guys in the next commentary have a great day everybody